It's Monday, August 2nd, 2010. I'm Jeff Bacalar, and it's time to get loaded. With the news last week that jailbreaking your iPhone is now legal, a hacker from the iPhone dev team has released the easiest jailbreak ever for iPhones. Visiting jailbreakme.com brings you to a screen where you can simply slide your finger to jailbreak your iPhone. In the past, users had to tether their phones to a computer. Now, early reports say it works for all versions of the iPhone, but as with any hack, this may brick your phone, so be warned. In other smartphone news, Microsoft COO Kevin Turner says Windows Phone 7 devices will ship in Europe in October and then in the U.S. in November. No word yet on which phones will be launching first, but expect the latest reviews here on CNET.com. In more 3D news, a company called DXG has a 3D webcam that will set you back just $600. The handheld camera has dual VGA lenses, but also comes packaged with a 7-inch 800 by 480 3D screen that doesn't require glasses. The pocket camcorder comes with 128 megabytes of storage, supports up to 16 gigabytes of expansion, has an HDMI port, and 4x digital zoom. Bloomberg is reporting that AT&T, Verizon, and possibly Deutsche Telekom are teaming up to take on Visa and MasterCard in contactless payment systems. The plan is to test mobile payment systems with users' smartphones. Now, Discover would handle the payments, and UK's Barclays would manage user accounts. No word yet on when this will actually happen, though. Finally, you may start to notice some Apple-like tables in your next visit to a Barnes & Noble store. The company is testing 1,000 square foot boutiques that demo their Nook e-reader devices along with their trendy accessories. The company hopes to utilize their physical stores over Amazon's Kindle e-reader. Those are your headlines for today. I'm Jeff Bacalar for CNET.com. You've just been loaded.